vector function, whether it's lines we've drawn here or an outline or centerline text, which are all vector functions, we're going to use the conform button. And this is part of conforming vectors add on. When you click on that, then conforming vectors allows those vector lines to be merged with an underlying rastered shape. So the way the machine is going to work is it's going to carve all of this first and then it's going to ask for the bit change. You're going to put the bit in and then it's going to route this into the surface that it just carved. So it will already know what this surface looks like because it just carved it. So this can be applied to drawn shapes as well. So let's say we are creating a, uh, a decorative element here and we want to apply a v-bit to that. Let's go select like a 90 degree v-groove and let's make it an eighth of an inch deep. Click OK. And of course it's only showing part of that line although that ends up being kind of a nice effect on this one, but it's not what we had fully intended. If I click that conform, it will then make that entire line conform to that shape. And you notice it's not even in the folder. So the conforming vectors is not specific to any folder. It's just going to take that vector and apply it to any surface that is underneath it without it need, needing to be nested in a folder or anything like that.